Hi, officer. Good morning. Answer these important questions before I'll allow you to enter the USCIS building. All of my answers are no to the COVID-19 questions. That's good. Okay, you can now enter the facility. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. Good morning. Hello, good morning. I'm here for my U.S. Citizenship Naturalization interview. Your USCIS appointment letter and ID, please. Yes, I have them. My USCIS appointment letter and permanent resident card. Please remove all your things and place them on the conveyor belt. Yes. You can now walk through the metal detector. Please pick up all of your things. Thank you. Good luck on your U.S. Citizenship Naturalization interview. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. How can I help you? I'm here for my U.S. Citizenship Naturalization interview. Do you have your USCIS interview appointment letter and any state-issued ID? Here they are, my USCIS appointment letter and ID. I'll take your picture and fingerprints. Look at the camera, please. Please put your left index finger on the scanner, followed by your right index finger. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm attaching your number to your USCIS appointment letter. Remember that the immigration officer may call your name or number or could announce both your name and number. Just be ready because we will start to prepare for your naturalization interview. I do wish that you'll pass your interview today. Thank you. You're welcome. Kindly have a seat in the waiting area. Is Valentina Morales with number P81 present today? Ms. Morales with P81, are you here? Yes. Hi, I'm Albert Anderson, the immigration officer who's assigned for your naturalization interview. Hello, officer. Are you ready for your U.S. citizenship interview? Yes. I'm glad that you're ready. Please follow me to the interview room. You can place your belongings next to this chair. Remain standing, please. I'm going to place you under oath. Raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Have a seat, please. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. Okay, it's time to talk about your eligibility. Can you tell me why you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want to give my children a better future here in the United States. May I see your USCIS green card, passports, and any state-issued ID? Here they are. So how did you receive your USCIS green card? I was married to an American citizen. Can you tell me your nine-digit USCIS alien registration number listed on your permanent resident green card? 4694782291 Okay, it's the correct number in our records. So what's your full name printed on your passport and permanent resident card? The name that shows on my passport and permanent green card is Valentina Morales. Is this the same name on your social security ID? Yes. Any other names used since birth? No. So no name changes for you? 
You're keeping your name, correct? You are correct. Did you marry a U.S. citizen in Mexico? Yes. Did you enter the United States through a K-3 visa, am I correct? You are correct. Any disabilities or impairments that will prevent you from understanding the English language? No. We will begin with the civics test. I'll ask up to 10 questions, and you pass if you can give 6 correct answers. Let me randomly pick some questions here for you. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. That's correct. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska. We shall proceed to the reading and writing test. I think you did well with the history and government test. Listen carefully to this sentence that I'll say, and write it down on the digital tablet in front of you. I will start to administer a writing test now. Okay, write this sentence. Citizens can vote. I will repeat it again. Citizens can vote. Let's proceed to the reading test. Okay, so please read the sentence that you can see on the tablet. Who can vote? Can you read a sentence loud enough for me? Who can vote? I'll give you the complete English and civics tests results at the end of your naturalization examination today. Tell me your country of citizenship or nationality. My country of citizenship is Mexico. What is your country of birth? My country of birth is also Mexico. What's your ethnicity? I'm Hispanic or Latina. Can you tell me your height? My height is 5 feet and 3 inches. What's your weight? My weight is 125 pounds. What's your hair color? My hair color is black. Can you tell me your eye color? My eye color is dark brown. What's your race? My race is Mexican. Please give me a few minutes. What is your present address? 1948 English Drive, Midland, Texas, 49705. Are you renting right now? No, I'm not renting. I own a small house. Do you currently reside in this small house that you own right now? Yes, I do. When did you start to reside in this small house? I had lived in this address since I got divorced from my husband. Okay, let me update that information in your file. What is your phone number, in case we want to call you? 405-188-7148 Okay, so let's proceed with your employment. How do you support yourself? I am an in-house supportive services IHSS provider. Kindly explain about what you do in your job. I provide services to any person who receives in-home supportive services under the IHSS program. Okay, so have you taken any trips outside of the U.S. since you came here? Yes. 
I travel together with my children every December and February each year. What's the reason why you travel in those particular months each year? These are the coolest months, and we usually stay for two weeks every time we visit. What's the reason for your scheduled travels outside the U.S.? I was able to visit my parents in Mexico twice a year for the past five years. Is visiting your family the most important reason for your travels outside the U.S.? Yes. Were your parents able to visit you here? Yes, officer. Can you hand me your original marriage certificate? Yes. So, based on your marriage certificate here, your ex-husband's name is Anthony Morales, am I correct? Yes. Did your ex-husband have prior marriages? No. Is this your first marriage? Yes. Where is your ex-husband now? He is currently serving 10 years with his illegal drug activities. Do you know more about it? No, I never knew about his illegal business and activities. I have been divorced with him for five years now. Is it fine if you can tell more about it? My ex-husband got abusive during our six years of marriage. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounded like he is not a very good person. He is an American citizen, correct? Yes, officer. Have you ever been connected, in any way, with the crimes that he has committed? No. I thought that he was only selling bicycles in his store before I got married to him and the entire time that I was married to him. Do you have any children? Yes, officer. I would like to see their birth certificates. Do you have them? Yes, I have them. Thank you. You're welcome. Are your parents American citizens? Both my parents are not American citizens. Your mother's name, please? My mother's name is Alejandra Hernandez. Can you tell me the name of your father? My father's name is Miguel Hernandez. Let's go over some of your answers in your application. What is your understanding with this, falsely claiming to be a U.S. citizen? Lied about your citizenship or you're saying that you're a citizen and you're not. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you given any fraudulent or false information to any officer for immigration benefit? No, I did not. What do these words mean to you, fraudulent, false, or misleading? These words mean they are not true. Do you have any hereditary title in a foreign country? No, I haven't. Please explain these words, hereditary title. Hereditary title means nobility like a prince, king, or queen. Did you register to vote in any election here in the U.S.? No, never. What is an insurgent organization? Insurgent organization is a group of people that uses weapons to fight the government. Were you a member of a militia or insurgent organization? No. What is a weapon? A weapon can be a gun, knife, or a bomb. Have you used any weapon to hurt anyone? No, never. Have you given or sold any weapon to anyone? No, I haven't. What is a vigilante unit? Vigilante unit is a group of people who act like the police, but not really the police. Were you a member of any rebel group or vigilante unit? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime and arrested here in the U.S.? No, I haven't. What is probation? 
Probation is a temporary release of an offender. Have you received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? No, I had never had one. Have you ever lied or given false information to any government official to gain entry into the United States? No, I did not. Are you going to support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. So what's the difference between a combatant and a non-combatant? Combatant fights and uses weapons, while a non-combatant does not fight and uses weapons. Are you going to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I am willing to do it. Are you ready to do work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am. Do you swear that everything you said is true? Yes, officer. Do you have a clear understanding with regards to the oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. You can now sign your naturalization application. Yes, officer. Please fully review what you can read on the tablet to make sure everything is correct. I think everything that I had read looked exactly correct. That's great. Please sign on the space provided on the tablet to affirm that everything that you've said today and you've submitted are true and correct. I need to have a final check before giving you a copy of the results of your tests today and all of your documents. I'll be right back, so kindly wait for a while. Officer, please take your time. Thanks for waiting. Here's the result of all of your tests today. I'm recommending that your naturalization application for U.S. citizenship be approved. Congratulations, you've passed all the tests and met all of the requirements. Thank you, officer. No problem. Do you want to wait inside the building for the naturalization oath ceremony? Yes, officer. Do you have any questions for me? No. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, we don't want people to come back for their oath ceremonies. You'll take your naturalization certificate today, and I'll guide you to room 15 after 10 up to 15 minutes.